This is a uh, 1929 Phantom II uh, with coach work by Hibbert and Darren. It was built for um, a gentleman named Neely in New York City who owned the, uh, the Needix uh, chain of restaurants. Uh -huh. He started out with a few hundred dollars in the early 20s and by 1929 his restaurants did this. Hot dogs and orange juice did very well for the gentleman. <laughs> Uh, this he had custom made. He bought the, uh, the rolls in London, had the chassis shipped to Paris. Hibbert and Darren did the coach work. Went over to Europe, picked up the car, and toured Europe with it for several months. Uh, so it was originally registered in France as its first registration. The French registration uh, tag on the cow. Uh, subsequently, it was brought back to New York, and it was used in New York and at his estate out on uh, Long Island. Well, now, how, how were you able to uh, ascertain all of the history on the car like that? Well, actually, with Rolls-Royces, that's quite easy because the factory maintains such good records. And since they're still in business, the records still exist. You can trace the history of almost any Rolls-Royce through all of its owners uh, just by contacting Rolls-Royce. Now, what about the polish to it? Is that the way it came out? Actually, the entire body is alloy. It's, it's all yes. aluminum. Uh, but but used, leaving a section of it... Uh, as a polished uh, feature was a common thing. Uh, it's a beautiful automobile, as all Hibbert and Darren's are, and it's one of the earliest of the Phantom IIs. It's one of the very first Phantom II chassis built. Uh, so it's a nice early example of a Phantom II.